back to my channel. It is Monique here and I am back with another video for you guys. So in today's video, I'll be doing a full face of black owned makeup products and we'll be talking, chit chatting, you know, and getting ready to take some photos. But y'all, I just use a lot of products from Juvia's Place. So you see these palettes here. I have these three palettes and then we use a lot of Fenty products as well and then we use some lashes from a friend of mine so yeah y'all if you guys like this video make sure you give it a like thumbs up this video um make sure that you guys comment down below what you think of the look this is what we got subscribe if you're new and follow me on the gram okay follow my spam follow my regular ig yes let's run it up and if you all want to see how I got this look, keep on watching this video. Alright y'all, so let's get into the video. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my YouTube poll and on Instagram and my spam IG account. Y'all really don't mess with me on Instagram. Like, I'm really seeing that. Y'all not messing me on Instagram at all. Like, I probably got three people that asked me something and two of them were the same person. So, what's going on y'all? Follow me on Instagram. It's on the screen. Follow me my, follow my spam account is on the screen like please please but anyways i'm doing a chit chat get ready with me full face using all black owned products but y'all i didn't get i wasn't able to get every single thing that was black owned so if i don't mention something it's because it wasn't black owned so my brows i just filled them in i didn't tell y'all what i used because it wasn't black owned so like what i tell you is black owned if i don't just know it's not but yeah so um whew, it's kind of hot in here but anyway we're gonna answer the um instagram ones first we're gonna talk you know chat and whatnot and yeah so let's see i put this up yesterday so all right so i don't know if i should say the names or not but i'm gonna say the name let me shout y'all out for the one time you know all right so this is from baby black girl underscore okay girl um, she said, what advice would you give to someone who wants to make money just like you? So, well, what advice would I give? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, y'all. Advice I would give is be consistent and not only do it for the money, the money will come with time. But if you enjoy what you're doing and then, you know, the money comes, like, you're straight, you're good. You know, you didn't do it just for the money, but you made money off of doing what you like. That's what I think. I feel like if you go into it feeling like, oh, I'm just trying to make money, it's not going to be successful. Like, when I started, I didn't even know you could make money on YouTube. And then when I realized, oh, you can make money, I'm like, oh, this is this is even more lit, you know? So it was just an add-on. But um, that's what I would say. Be consistent. Enjoy what you're doing. Make great content. And you can make money just like me. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Be consistent enjoy what you put out make quality content and that's how you're gonna make money um that's just a little short and simple um little spiel but y'all i'm for concealer i'm gonna use this fenty um foundation i got this like a long time ago and it was the wrong shade and the funny thing is i went to the store and tried it i got tested and everything or matched and this color is not for me so this is 370 um y'all i'm sweating these lights but anyways this is 370 and this is the what color what 380 yeah this one 385 this is the foundation that i'm going to use and then this is the foundation i'm going to use as my concealer so let me just show y'all so you can see the comparison this is the one that i'm going to be oh snap why does this one look more my skin tone than the next one but it's actually y'all we're gonna see how this is gonna go because now they look pretty hmm, interesting anyways we're still using this one the 385 as a foundation and then we're gonna use this one as the consumer all right so yeah that was that first um first question anyways and i'm using a variety of right variety of fenty products juvia's place um yeah, that's the majority of the black on products I have. And then I have lashes from a friend of mine. So, yeah. Um, let's get back into it. So, I'm just going to put a little bit on here. 
We're gonna carve out these brows because we want brows to be popping or whatever. Okay, okay. So let me see, what's our next one? What do you, okay, this is from Adrian 14 underscore Adrian 14 underscore. I just made an intro for her. She's the sweetest. Um, what do you find most challenging in life? Most challenging in life. That is a deep question. Um, most challenging, I would say, see, this is a really nice concealer shade. Um, I think what's most challenging in life is like knowing your purpose, you know, like knowing what it is that you are meant to do. I think that's pretty challenging because it doesn't just come to you, um, it has to be revealed to you. And um, yeah, I think that's probably the most challenging thing in life. That's, that's, that's what I think on that. But, um, I'm using this pencil real quick to, um, this spoolie to just, you know, get our brows nice. But, yeah, honestly, that's what I would think is the most challenging thing in life is finding your purpose. Um, yeah. Alright, let's get to the next question. So, those were two questions, y'all. And that's from my main IG. And literally over a hundred of y'all <laughs> like saw that story anyways i'm not even about to be pressed for it okay let's go to our spam account um i think i got a couple on here at least all right so my cousin shout out to sadani okay um she said how has quarantine been a blessing and a curse okay okay i like i like that i like that so for me Quarantine has been a blessing in the way that in regards to my channel, I've had a lot more time to film and really sit down and think about what I, um, you know, want to do for my channel or on my channel and create content. Um, and that has definitely been a blessing. Um, also, um, you kind of just take a step back you kind of like you know just relax yourself you're not like just moving 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 you kind of can just really reflect and i think that that is definitely a blessing with quarantine um you know we had to stay in our homes couldn't go out still really shouldn't be going out now but um i would definitely say that um and also too like this probably sounds crazy but like so i'm seventh day at venice so i go to church on saturday um and i'm used to going to church every saturday like the whole with the quarantine and everything and not going to church like was just crazy to me like it just was like horrible i hated it i hated hated not going to church i still do hate not being able to go to church don't get me wrong but like with me staying home on sabbath like i feel like i get i got to like kind of like even grow my connection even more with God just because it's just me and him you know like I'm studying my lesson study I'm reading my Bible and you know I'm really taking that time to really speak with him and spend time with him so that's definitely another blessing I um, would say that quarantine did for me and then curse wise I'm tired of being in the house like I I already am a homebody type of person so like you know staying in the house wasn't a big deal to me but the fact that I like didn't even have a choice if I wanted to go somewhere you know what I'm saying um and then it's summer too so like summertime I don't stay in the house um I would be out whether it's hanging out with friends or on vacation which is what I was really looking forward to this um summer um I had quite a few things planned but you know, you, this just shows you can't plan. You can't plan anything, honestly. You can't because you don't know what the next day brings. Um, so, yeah, I would say that was the only, that's the only course I could think of for, in regards to myself. Um, but, yeah, definitely that. Um, yeah, I like that question. Okay, next one. When did you get into graphics? This is from Bree Breezy X. Um... I got into graphics back in 2018. You know, not even. I started creating graphics in 2018. But um, I actually 
have been doing graphics since I've started YouTube, um, which is what, back in 2012? I've been doing graphics because um, anything that I needed for my channel, I always went out and created it myself. I'm just a creative person in general. I like to make things. Um, you know, back in elementary school, I used to, you know, make the friendship bracelets, those lanyards to make origami, like just a lot, y'all. Um, so I would say that that is, um, that's when I started to get, that's when I started to get into graphics. Yeah, Let's see that, 2012, when I like started making my own stuff for my channel. And actually starting like graphics, graphics, like tutorials and stuff are in, up in the end, like creating stuff for other people, I would say 2018. Okay, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Um, oops, I didn't even press that. Um, what inspired me to start a YouTube channel? I just always wanted to um, make a YouTube channel. Um, I used to watch YouTubers like Kelly Sweet, Kennedy Simone, like those are the two top um, female black YouTubers that I would watch. And I was like, this looks, this is fun. Like, I really like this. Like, I want to do this. And so I did, and that really was it for me. Like, I was liking it, I really liked it. I used to film on my computer's webcam, y'all. Like, I was with it, like, I was with it. And I really loved it, and I kept doing it, and here we are now, y'all. So that's how it all started. Okay, so now we're on YouTube now. So y'all really be, I appreciate y'all, I appreciate y'all. Okay, so. Being Kara D says, what is something that you wish you would have known two years ago and how can you apply how can you apply what you learned to today? Okay, um two years ago. So I am 23, turning 24 this year. So two years ago I was 21. I'm using this Juvia's Place palette, I'm using this brown color. It's called the, the name's gone because I use it so much, but this is this one right here. Um, 21, let's see, what, what was going on? I believe I was in my nursing program um, during that time. And did I like, hmm. I feel like, yeah, I got into my nursing program actually um, at that, that, that um, two years ago. Um... I would say two years ago, what would I have liked? What? Let me look at the question again. How am I forgetting? What? Something I wish I would have known. I would say I wish I would have known not to, like, don't beat myself up about things. Like, um, things are not going to always go the way that you planned. Um, don't be so hard on yourself, I would say that, because honestly, like, I thought everything was great and dandy, and then I got to nursing school, y'all, and, like, that thing just really showed me, like, listen, you gotta, like, it's tough, and, like, I would beat myself up because I'm, like, not making the grades that I used to make, like, in prerequisite, prerequisites and things like that, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, I'd be thinking I'm not smart, oh my gosh, I can't do this, what am I doing? And I would really feel like that. And, like, that's crazy. Like, that's not it. No, I am very smart, okay? I would not be in this program if I was not. We're graduating next year. We're about to be a nurse, okay? So, I know that I am smart and I know that I can do it. But, like, I would just feel like I wasn't um, good enough and stuff. And I wish that I would not. Sorry, all my camera died. But, yeah, that's what I would... Um, Am I in frame right? Yeah. So yeah, that's what I would tell myself. Like, <clears throat> it's really okay not to know everything. You're not going to know everything. Don't beat yourself up about something that you cannot change. My mom tells me that all the time. Can't worry about things that you can't change. You got to, you know, just do better next time around. And yeah, and I'm applying that to my life now. So yeah. Um, what's the worst thing happened in your history of filming YouTube videos? Worst thing to happen to me in the history of filming. I would say, I would have, I, I mean, this is probably not the worst thing, but like, 
I would say I sat down and filmed a whole video, like a whole video, y'all, and I was done and ready to edit and everything, and then I go to try and look for the video, and it's gone. That's probably like the worst thing that can happen as a YouTuber in regards to filming, y'all, because you spend a lot of time into this. Like, if I would have sat here and filmed this whole video, talked to y'all, and then to find out it it's gone, like, I would have been very highly upset so i would say that's probably the worst thing to have happened to me um while filming like that's just mm, hate it hate it y'all your heart be dropping <laughs> all right next question this is from shay renee um she said what's the hardest class you've had since starting nursing school y'all so honestly my second semester took everything out of me, everything out of me, y'all, everything, everything. So the two more difficult classes for me were peds and um, farm. And out of those two, peds was killer. It was killer, okay? Whew. Only God, y'all. God brought me through that. I'm telling you, y'all, like... It, it was tough and I was very scared like down all the time freaking out like oh my gosh y'all yeah that piece for sure has been the hardest for me um, and yes thank you Lord thank you Lord for third semester because second Definitely Pete's for sure, y'all. And one of the reasons why I would say is because, I mean, I'm not even going to say that it's easy if you have children. But I feel like if you have children, you can at least relate more to things, like to questions and stuff. Like, can a 14-month-old do this? Can a 12-month-old do that? I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know now, but... Y'all, I, I just couldn't. That was, like, hard for me to get that to stick. And, um, so Pete's was definitely the hardest for me. Um, but we made it through, you know. I had dropped the course and retook it this past semester. And we did wonderful, y'all. So praise and thanks be to God because, ooh, y'all, it was tough, baby. I'm using Aja right here. It was tough, y'all. And by the way, I don't even know what look I'm doing. I'm just, you know, playing with colors. And we're going to see what we come out with. All right. But yeah, y'all, I, I literally, that class was the death of me. And ooh, if you're in nursing school, you know what it is, okay? If you took peds or you're about to take peds, pray, okay? And do what you got to do. But yeah, peds were definitely the hardest class for me girl mm. all right um this person reem a boss says do you live alone do you have a boyfriend how old are you plus i love you so much i love you too i do not live alone i live with my mother um yeah i live with my mom do i have a boyfriend i don't how old am i i'm 23 24 in december team sag let me know if you team sag in the comments down below yeah, y'all. And I know, y'all give me shot like, she's 23. Yeah, y'all, I am. Don't be, you know, don't be trying to come for me in the comments. I, I am. Um, okay, what college do you attend? This is the same person that asked about what was the hardest class in nursing school. What college do you attend? That's all I have in case someone else responds. You could talk about your thoughts on what's going on in the world, like how Tory Lanez might, Tory Lanez might have shot Megan, um, and the foot and this whole entanglement. <laughs> Okay, so I think y'all might know what school I go to, but um, if y'all see my uniform and stuff, but I go to Georgia Gwinnett College. Um, yeah, that's where I go. And then about this whole Tory Lanez and Megan, like that really just like I was really like disgusted by that. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, what type of stuff is that? Like, yo. Yeah, I really need to leave this black woman alone. Like, what is wrong with you? 
and I just I was very disappointed y'all like I was very disappointed I was really hoping that it was not him that he was not involved that he was trying to help her and he shot her in the foot like what type of stuff is that apparently because she was trying to leave like huh yeah no that's not that's not it it's very sickening to me like how they be treating these black women like y'all's moms is black and y'all don't have no respect for black women like i don't get it and it really needs to stop because it's it's so annoying y'all like it's so annoying i cannot that's just so ridiculous the girl had to go to the hospital to get the bullets taken out of her foot how do you feel like no dirty that was real dirty that's supposed to be your friend no that's how i feel on that and let me talk about these lashes right quick okay so these lashes i'm about to put these on they're from mandy minx my friend amanda she got her own lash line and these are the lashes i'm gonna be putting on these are real cute i really love this style um i like lashes that are like you know they got the long and the short long short I don't know what you would call that, but and they're nice and wispy too, so I know they're about to look bomb. And it comes with a little, you know, little clip inside. And their packaging is holographic, which is real nice. So yeah, it has this little clip in here. Like this, real cute. So y'all gonna be seeing that when I do my hair again. And um, yeah, make sure to check her out. I'm gonna leave the link in my description box and check my Instagram for the photo so you can see the IG tagged. But yeah, we're gonna put these on, then we're gonna do our foundation and all that but y'all let's talk about this entanglement okay like that's the word of the that's the word of the year now like take our space and what happened yeah and then i got into an entanglement with august an entanglement with august this entanglement that jada says she and oops this entanglement that jada was with uh you know with with august you know um, literally had to go look up his age because I was like, I know this man is not even 30 yet. Like, what? But, like, they had themselves a little entanglement, as she said. And, uh, that's very interesting. I was not, that was the last thing I expected to hear anyway. But then when you seen them photos, you know, how he was holding her up, holding her, holding her waist, I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, something's going down. Cause you know. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, that's their business, honestly. That's their business. That's their married life and whatnot, you know, things be happening and whatnot. But that boy was really in love. He said he could die tomorrow and he will be fine to know he got to experience that kind of love. That is deep. <laughs> That's deep, y'all. That's deep. Yeah, y'all, that is deep. And then she said he broke up with her. I don't really know how that happened. I feel like she probably told him, you know, she was always going to go back to well. So he probably just like, you know, he know nothing's going to happen from it. So he had to, you know, call it off and whatnot. But you could also see that Will was hurt in the, um, in the Red Table Talk. Like, he kind of... He wanted like straight answers and she wasn't trying to give him straight answers. Um, so I know he was definitely hurt by that, but I'm sure they've been through some other stuff too. Like I feel like she he's not innocent either. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm not even gonna get into that because I don't know. But that's just how that's what I got from that um talk and whatnot. I feel like they've been through some things, it just didn't get to the media and this thing did. Um, but, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. That's day life. I don't business, so. Let the entanglements begin. I'm just so bad at putting on lashes, y'all, but these do look very cute. <laughs> the pic's gonna be fire. But anyways, y'all, um, I, <laughs> that's what I had to say on that, y'all. That's what I had to say on that. <laughs> Okay, so on this Mizzy, 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 Vicky, I'm sorry for saying it wrong, saying it wrong. Do you have a boyfriend or any love interest? 
no girl you feel me we just you know we got our options open you know we seeing who's worth our time and who's not that's what we're doing okay when do you graduate from college next year girl next year may we finna graduate i'm too excited y'all i'm too excited um what was your inspiration to start youtube i already answered that one what 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 would be your advice to me as a young youtuber young youtuber young youtuber I'm about to use this um foundation right here the 385 put it on our fenty foundation brush but um advice as a new youtuber make sure this is something that you want to do because once you start you shouldn't just stop um you meet a really uh, you will meet a lot of great people on here i will also say because i've met some really cool people through youtube um um you know tell people about it to your family to your friends let them share your stuff get yourself out there do collabs um all of that type of stuff and um and as I always keep saying, enjoy what you are doing. Make sure this is something that you actually enjoy because this, in turn, could be your job. So you want to make sure that you are doing something that you like. So that's definitely what I would give to you as a young YouTuber. Also, don't let people get to you. I know people be rude in the comments sometimes, but those are the people behind the computer screen. They would never say that stuff to your, self, to your face. Like, literally, I'm telling you, this, my, the, the comments that you see on, on some of my videos sometimes, it's like, they literally would never say that to your face. I'm telling you. I am telling you. So, do not take too much stuff to heart. Um, this is social media. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, next. What tips could you give an upcoming nursing student? So, upcoming nurse student, just make sure that you do well in your pre prerequisite classes. Um, and don't determine that based on how well nursing school is going to go for you because nursing school is a lot different from those prere prerequisite classes. Um, it's a whole new ball game, but it is doable and you will meet great people and the people that you go through nursing school with, they understand. So, you know, you have a whole family. Um, you will spend a lot of time studying, but make sure that you also do have fun. Do not spend all your time studying. That's just not healthy in my opinion. You do need time for yourself as well. So that's very important as um, to do. Um, just plan out very well stay organized get a planner if you don't have one because planners save me um because there's a lot of assignments and things that have to be done and you want to make sure that you're keeping track of those things um what else what else keep an open mind ask questions do not be afraid to ask questions because nine times out of ten a question that you have someone else has as well but they're not asking it so ask any questions you have. It's always better to um, ask and know than not to know and then, you know, do something and, you know, make a mistake. So make sure you ask questions. That's important. Stay on top of deadlines. Um, do not procrastinate. Um, and enjoy it, y'all. All in all, enjoy it because I've had some really great um, clinical experiences as a nursing student. I've got to meet some wonderful people. And I am forever grateful for that and I really love it. It's just so nice to, you know, help someone and then, you know, know that they really appreciate it and they tell you that they really appreciate it and you just feel really good. Um, so, yeah, I need to do a more, I need to do an updated um, Q&A for nursing school. And I actually do start school in the next coming weeks. So, if you do have nursing school questions, go ahead and ask some more in the comments and I can do that because I think it's, it's due, but y'all, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm glad that I um, went to nursing school. I wouldn't have it any other way, and yeah, so, you know, make sure that's something you also really want to do as well because it's not easy, and you have to remember why you started, you know, to continue. So, yeah, that's what I would say for that. 
Okay, how did you get into graphic designing? I already answered that too. Can you make a how to do a premium intro on the iPhone? Did I do one of those? I felt like I did. But if I didn't, I'll look into it. Um, sure, for sure. About to use this stick, match stick from Fenty Beauty. This is in truffle. So, you know, you know, get under here. Get under there. Yeah, I can do that. Um, what is your hair type? So, I know I'm type 4, but I don't know, like, other than that, what else. Um, I would say I'm just all of the type 4s because I have different textures in my hair. So, the front of my hair is very loose. So, I would say, like, 4... I'm going to say I'm, like, 4B, 4C. Or 4A, too, y'all. But, the front of my hair is very loose. The middle is very tight. And then, the back is, like, kind of, like, in between. So I would probably say I'm all of the four categories, but definitely I have type four hair. Um, but yeah, definitely a type four. Um, favorite YouTube video you made? Um, I don't think I have a favorite YouTube video I made. I actually like all of my videos. Um, so I, I honestly don't have a favorite. Um, yeah, it's, it's off the camera. Oh, I think it's about to stop. Hold up. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I don't have a favorite, but I just, I enjoy all my videos I create, y'all. I enjoy all of them. Um, what do you use for your skin? Girl, you gotta check out my skincare video. I am gonna be doing an updated one, too, because I did get a couple of new products. Um, so y'all will see that. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of this color right here. Um, but I don't use much, y'all, because once something works for me, I like to stick to it for the most part. So if I do use something new, then... I must like it, um, or I must have heard really good things about it to try it, um, but I just, you know, wash my face in the morning, moisturize, and keep it moving because I do have dry skin, so I like to make sure that my um, face is moisturized, but yeah, I don't, I don't use too much different stuff on my face. Um, what is else, what else do we have? three main tips to grow your channel I feel like I feel like there's not like a foolproof way to grow your channel you know what I'm saying like um, it really just takes one video for you to blow up um, and that for me happened to be my intro tutorial beauty guru intro tutorial so I feel like it really makes one video to like make your channel do very well and you just don't know what that video is. You just have to create your content and see what happens. So I don't think there's really a foolproof three tips that are going to make you grow your channel. You can give tips that helped you, but it's not to say that it will work for everybody. I hope that makes sense. But yeah. Um, and then someone said okay. I, I'm not sure what, what that what's that about. But yeah, y'all. That is all the questions. That's all the questions that y'all gave me. Um, yeah, I am going to be doing a black owned business haul. I did mention that in one of my vlogs, but I'm going to do a haul as well just for more products, not just makeup products, but like skincare, um, and body care, stuff like that too. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. We supporting black businesses, okay? Yes, ma'am. But, um, I didn't show y'all this because I, this is not even black on and I really swore it was, but it's not, so we're not even going to talk about that. But, yeah, y'all, that is really it. That's it, y'all. That's it. Let me know what else y'all would like to see from me. And, you know, also, if you're a black-owned business, hit me up so I can mention your products in my video you know and yeah okay now we got our face on we need to add our um highlights so i'm going to be using two highlighters i'm going to be where is it i literally stopped i brought it in here i didn't i thought it was in here but okay we're going to be using this roomy um matchstick from fenty and we're going to put this on the tip of our nose. Yes, ma'am. I love a nose highlight. Put it right there. Can y'all see her? And then we're going to dab, dab, dab. And we're going to use our finger 
to blend her out. Yes, ma'am. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. And we need to do our inner corner. I'm just going to take, where's the brush? Take this brush here. Get it on. In the corner. Here it is. Yeah, this right here. This is Nefertiti, y'all. This highlighter is bomb, B. This highlighter is bomb, okay? So, like bomb with a capital B. Alright, so we're going to dab a little bit in there. It's loose powder, so we got to be careful. And we're just going to there. Yep, you see that? You see that. Put a little bit on this brush so we can those a little bit you know bright and then put a little bit more on the bones. yes y'all this highlight is bomb bomb yes yes ma'am yes get your hands on her yes but yeah that's it for that do our lips use this Fenty this is the color, this is hot chocolate. I have, I'm gonna use hot chocolate and the, um, the original one. Smell good, juicy lips. Okay. Yes, juicy, juicy. Alright, and we're gonna put in some hoops here, y'all. So, put y'all in. This one in. Alright, and I'm gonna spray my face just a little bit. I'll spray my brush actually. I'll spray this so I can. Yeah, our face so we're nice I like a dewy look so this is a dewy powder I mean setting spray yes ma'am all right y'all so this is this is our look y'all this is our look what do y'all think how do we look let me go a little bit closer for y'all so y'all can see her Okay. Alright y'all, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys like these products. They'll also be linked down below, so make sure you check them out. You know, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this look. I hope this video if you guys enjoy it. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and do that, okay? And make sure to turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And yeah, y'all, without further ado, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.